Well, multi-million dollar naming rights at BC Place and a deal with TELUS for that that got hung up this week were part of the Premier's difficult week, one that she likely wishes she could forget. Christy Clark's first week in the Premier's office has been marked by a cabinet resignation, a showdown with teachers and a nasty exchange that may signal a new relationship with the people who cover her. A tough week indeed and a woman who wanted the job who's had her own share of problems doesn't see things getting any better. Our legislature reporter Stephen Andrew has more. Oh boy, or perhaps it should be oh bloy. What a week it's been for Premier Christy Clark. It is never good when a cabinet minister is forced to resign, but when that same person is the one and only MLA in caucus to support your leadership bid, it's doubly painful. Harry Bloy exiting cabinet after he shared an email to another cabinet minister with a Liberal Party donor. The thing is, is that, um, you know, I, I understand that I guess you know, I, I understand that there's you'd like everybody'd like to take the story further, but the thing is, the minister's resigned. He took responsibility for it. He apologized for it yesterday, and he offered his resignation today because what he did was inappropriate. And you have no problem so, with anything answered yet. Can, can, can I ask you about the Thanks, guys. The staff are ushering the premier out of the room. Former press secretary to Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Who are you, by the way? I'm the director of communications, Sarah McIntyre. Sarah McIntyre was getting more attention than her boss as she tussled with reporters last week on the same day Clark was supposed to be celebrating one year in the Premier's office. I did not issue Columbia, an advisory saying that she's Toronto. taking media questions. She's actually going back to Victoria this morning. That's okay. So, we, got some, we got some questions hey in Vancouver. And there were tough questions for the business-friendly Premier about how a $40 million deal went sideways for naming rights to BC Place. Clark and her government turning down the money at the same time saying it's a great deal for taxpayers. It was a horrible week for her, no question about that. Carol James knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of political trouble. Ousted as opposition leader last year, she thinks more trouble might be on the horizon for the Liberal leader. What gets you through is, is going back to your core values and why you ran in the first place, why you're there in the first place. And I have to say, I think that's part of the reason people are struggling right now with the Premier, is that they haven't seen those core values. The legislature has been adjourned for the March break. MLAs won't be back here until March the 27th. And talking with the opposition, it's already clear they'll be armed with more tough questions for the Premier. Questions like what is the government going to do to calm labour strife? Not only with BC teachers, but other unions lining up to negotiate contracts. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.